welcome to Yoga Bugs. I'm Lisa, your virtual teacher. And today we're doing Julia Donaldson's story, Room on the Broom. Now, before we get started, I want you to see how many of the characters you can name. Well done. Well, we're going to start by going through those characters before we start our story. And first of all, we begin with the witch. Now, for our witch, we're going to stand on one leg. First of all, we're going to bring our hands up nice and spiky like this. Then we're going to bring one foot off. If that's too difficult, you can just put the tip of your toe on the floor like that. And we're going to cackle like a witch. <laughs> well done. Let's try that on the other side. Put the foot down, hands down. And now, taking the hands back up and again the other foot this time. And can you cackle like a witch for me? Ah, ah, ah. Well done. Put the foot down and bring the hands down. We have a cat in our story. So let's come on to our hands and knees. Push our stomach down to the ground. And what sound does our cat make? Well done. Now we're going to stay in this position. Take our hands forward and lift up for the dog. Are you ready? Turn the toes and lift all the way up for your dog. Very good. And what sound does our dog make? Brilliant. Well done. Now bend your knees and come to sitting. We have a witch, we have a cat, we have a dog. There is also a frog. So we're going to squat down in this position on our toes. That's it. What sound does a frog make? <laughs> Brilliant, well done. And we're going to jump nice and high for our frog. Ready? One, two, three. Well done. And one more. One, two, three. That's it, brilliant. And standing back up. There is also a bird in our story, a green bird. So I'm gonna to turn to the side, but you stay as you are. Hands on your hips, folding forwards, and bring your hands around your body like this to flap your wings up like this. Well done. And standing tall because the last one we're going to find before we start our story is the dragon. So for our dragon, we're going to bring our legs a little bit wide apart. We're going to bend our knees and take our hands underneath our knees or just above our ankles and lift our legs up like this and make a mean face like a mean dragon. Well done. And standing back up. I think we're ready to start our story. Before we do, let's take a nice deep breath in through our nose and out through our mouth. Well done. So, the witch, coming into your witch pose just on one side, well done. The witch has a cat. Bring that foot down and down into cat for me. And Meow. Well done. The witch has a cat and a very tall hat. Standing back up, feet together, arms up for your very tall hat. Well done. She has long ginger hair which she wears in a plait. So let's bring our arms forward, take one hand onto the opposite shoulder and then the other hand, that is your plait. Well done and bring your legs a little bit wide and point one toe in this direction. Because how the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick, arms out, bend that knee forwards for your broomstick and flew through the wind. Well done. And straighten that leg, we're gonna swap over to the other side how the witch wailed and how the cat spat as the wind blew so wildly it blew off her hat down cried the witch so we're going to see if we can bring our hand down to the floor or maybe just down to our legs down cried the witch and they flew to the ground 
straighten back up, straighten the leg, feet together, well done. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with a hat in his jaws. So come over to your hands and knees for me. We'll get ready to come into our dog. So bring our hands forward, turn the toes and lift up into our dog. Well done and stay there for me. He dropped it politely and eagerly said, as the witch put her hat back onto her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on your broom for a dog like me? Well done. And bend your knees and sitting and coming back up to standing. Legs a little bit wide. Yes, cried the witch. Well done. Point one toe in that direction. Get ready for your broomstick. Bend the knee. And the dog bounded on. The witch tapped her broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. So we're going to bend and straighten that leg. Well done. Over the forest and fields they flew. And swapping over to the other side, bring the toe forward and swap that foot. Well done. The dog wagged his tail as the stormy winds blew. Brilliant. And swap again for me. The witch laughed aloud and held on to her hat, but away blew her bow from her long ginger plait. Down, cried the witch. Can you fall down for me? As they flew to the ground. Well done. Come up back to straight and straighten the leg. Feet together. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out of a tree, so feet together for your tree, branches out. We're going to keep our toe on the floor and bring the branches up. Well done. Very good. Let's swap that over to the other side. So bring the hands down, feet together. Branches nice and wide. That's it. And branches all the way to the top. Then out of a tree with an ear-spitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with a bow in its beak. So we're going to bring our feet together. We're going to do our bird. Can you remember where we fold at the waist? Hands on the hips, fold at the waist, arms around. Well done. And flap those wings. Brilliant. He dropped it politely and bent his head low. So bring your hands down and see if you can bend your head down nice and low towards your legs. Well done. As the witch tied her hair back into its bow and leaning up back into your bird wings. I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on your broom for a bird like me? Standing up, legs wide. Yes, cried the witch and the bird fluttered on. Take one foot out, get ready for your broomstick, bend that knee. The witch tapped her broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy winds blew. Swap over to the other side for me, well done. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch held her bow but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. Standing back up, legs straight, feet together. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, then out of a pond, there leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. Squat down into frog form and we're gonna do a big jump. Ready? One, two, three. Very good. And one more. One, two, three. And then stay in the squat for me. Well done. He dropped it politely and said with a croak, as the witch wiped her wand on the fold of her cloak, I am a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on your broom for a frog like me? Standing up, legs wide. Yes, cried the witch. And the frog hopped on. Taking your foot out. That's it, bend the knee, get ready for your broomstick because the witch tapped her broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and mountains they flew. Swap over for me. Well done. 
The frog jumped for joy and the broom snapped in two. <gasps> Down fell the cat. So straighten that leg, come up to standing and we're going to come onto our hands and knees for our cat. Well done, pushing the stomach down. Down fell the cat and the dog, lifting up. And the frog, so knees down and come into your squat for your frog. Down they all fell into the bog. And standing back up, feet wide. Get back into your broomstick for me, well done. Because the witch's half broomstick flew into the clouds. The witch heard a sound that was scary and loud. Okay, straighten the leg. We're going to come into our dragon. Are you ready? Let's bend our knees. I am a dragon as mean as can be. I'm planning on having witch and chips for my tea. Back onto your broomstick standing up. Well done. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. So we're going to lean backwards to fly high. That's it, well done. But the dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Feet together. Bending at the waist, arms around for your dragon wings. Big deep breath in and out. And again, deep breath in and out. Well done, standing back up, arms out, back into your broomstick. No, cried the witch as she flew to the ground. That's it, well done, standing back up, feet together. She searched all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer. So come back into your dragon for me, bending the knees. That's it, well done. The dragon drew nearer, licking his lips. He said, just this once, I'll have witch without chips. Standing up, but just as he planned to begin on his feast, out of the ditch rose a horrible beast. Bring your arms up for me, onto your tiptoes. It was tall, dark and sticky. It was feathered and furred. Come back down. It had four frightful heads and wings like a bird. So we're going to come back down into our bird. Well done. Its terrible voice as it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. And standing up back into your dragon pose because this beast, it dripped and it squelched as it rose from the ditch and it said to the dragon, buzz off, that's my witch. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he said, I made a mistake. It was nice to have met you, but now I must fly. He spread out his wings and flew into the sky. Well done. Down flapped the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat. Hands and knees for your cat. Well done. And you said the dog, lifting up into dog for me. Hold it there for a second, well done. Bending the knees and coming back up to standing. Into your witch. Oh, thank you, oh, thank you, the grateful witch cried. And swap it over to the other side. Without you, I'd be in the dragon's inside. She took out her cauldron, sitting down legs out wide for me and she said with a grin find something everyone throw something in so the frog found a lily gonna do big stirs that's it the frog found a lily and the cat found a cone the bird found a twig and the dog found a bone they threw them all in, and the witch stirred it well. And as she stirred, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom! And out of it rose a truly magnificent broom. Come back up to standing. 
It had seats for the witch, the cat and the dog. Legs nice and wide, get ready for your broomstick. Foot out to the side, bend the knee. It had a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped her broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Very good, well done everybody. Let's straighten that leg and come back up to standing. And we're gonna sit straight down now and we're gonna get ready to calm things down for our relaxation. But well done, because that was a really hard story with all those broomsticks. So we're going to lie down onto the floor and get ready for our relaxation. Take a nice deep breath in and out and let yourself feel relaxed on the floor as you gently close your eyes. Take a few deep breaths and let your body feel relaxed. Imagine that you are sitting by a lake and the sun is shining and the water is beautiful and still. You realize that you are not alone and that someone is beside you. You feel very comfortable with them next to you. They might be a friend, someone that you've known for a long time, maybe an older person or even a special animal that you love. Whoever you choose leads you over a bridge to a quiet little cave and sits down and asks you to tell them about yourself. You may have a special question that you want to ask them too and you need to listen closely to their answer. Your special friend tells you that you can return to see them at any time with any question. This is a place where you can feel safe and calm with your special friend. going to stay here for a moment, feeling calm and relaxed. 